What's up guys, this is the Rifleman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the Knights of St. John. So to round off where we left off, um, it's been a fairly turbulent part actually, because I managed to be invaded by the Mughals, I lost the battle, and then uh, the Barbary States rebelled and took Algiers back. I'm not actually at war with the Barbary States, so that's not ideal. Um, but... I think I am going to be uh, declaring war on them in a few turns. I want to build up... Well, this army is probably good enough. Well, it is definitely good enough to take back Algiers. But I want to build up a bit of a garrison here in Tunis to hold off any um, attack from Tripoli. And Tripoli is a bad region to hold. But in this war, I am going to leave Malta exposed to try and lure the AI into attacking it. Then on the other side of the world, we are continuing our island hopping campaign. We took the Leeward Islands, but sadly, we cannot leave lest we have massive amounts of rebellion. I do need to get a priest over there, but realistically, that's not going to be the easiest thing to do. It's our people in government. Negative seven really doesn't help. Ah, we now have a Minister of the Americas. Bon vivant. Okay, he's pretty good. So let's check some of the other four guys. Don't want this guy. Because he reduces the happiness of the lower classes. I've already got plenty of that. Looks like the French are slowly picking their way through some of these 13 colonies territories so maybe we might see the United States emerged but my plan has evolved once again away from fighting against Sweden so much so I may attempt to make peace excellent Let's try peace out the Mughals which I have not which is unfortunate so we're always going to do a bit of firefighting against them but I do want to take this opportunity to steal some Ottoman territory. So let's hit end turn. Because if I declare on the Barbary States, then I will be chiefly at war with just the Barbary States and the Ottomans. If I declare on the Ottomans, they might draw in their allies. But if I do just the Barbary States, then they will not get involved. At least, that's my theory. Flying shuttle. Some boosts to some of our industry. The Leeward Islands has metal roads. I could probably have got away with upgrading or destroying this and re rebuilding it as a civil building to get more oppression. So I've boosted my um, garrison here and I've got lots of port upgrades I could get. Okay, first let's take take some of these men out. Put some of my good units in. I don't necessarily need a, need a fantastic army. I just want an army that is competent to hold them, hold them off. I don't want to upgrade. Don't want to upgrade, upgrade this port here because I want because I want the AI to attack it. So I don't want to spend the money on it. So I may as well upgrade. Or no, let's upgrade it because we've lost a bit of cash. And I'd like yeah, we're losing all of our coffee uh, exports. In fact, I might actually do that. Knock that down and rebuild it up as a civil building rather than a military building. We've already got military building in Jamaica, so we don't really need to double up. I mean, we could lose Jamaica, but I've got so many territories, it's unlikely that I'm... Ooh. Good 
Good job I've got that army up together. I might have to make, make them an offer of a Caribbean island. It's a socket bayonet. Okay, let's start to work down the, the artillery tree to get down to quick lime shells. Actually, I selected the wrong one. So you, Oxford, instead go for Spinning Mule. Tatooine, go on to Improved Grenades. So what army do you have? Lots of cavalry. Okay, I can't. So how many men can I get in there? So you've got an army, I can put 12 units inside and I've got 14. I can get rid of that though. Uh, can you do with some melee infantry? But yes, it's tempting to try and go. The Leeward Islands right now is a pain in the backside and is really slowing me down. So if I said okay, peace, and I will offer the Leeward Islands. Not well, fair enough, they don't want the Leeward Islands. Understandable. But let's see where they go. And I may want to upgrade this to a military academy, especially if I want to springboard invasions out of this area. And it does get me Dragoons. Which is good for garrison duties. And let's go upgrade another port to just keep that tax growth coming. So yes, we've Kingston's temporarily blockaded, but soon, soon the pirates will be no more. Ideally, I could take somewhere um, like New Andalusia, and and Andalusia, Andalu Andaluasa, uh, northern coast of Brazil. That would be ideal. Ha! So the Barbary states are now at war with me. So it begins. Are they going to go blockade some of my ports, I suspect? This is it now. I need to start churning troops out of Tripoli. So have I been joined? They, oh no, the Ottomans didn't join them. That's interesting. Okay, let's keep... Keep building... Building four infantry units a turn seems like a manageable task. I suppose the Ottomans didn't join in because they are they've already got some quite major problems. But yes, I think this is the best thing to best route to go down to get more oppression, because upgrading the last military building didn't seem to get me any new stuff. Okay, so you've got a lot of cavalry, lots of cavalry, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cavalry. Well, I'll see your cavalry with a depleted cavalry at that, with a bucket load of infantry. Then we can knock out one Barbary state's territory, swing around, knock out the others probably leave a force behind to protect against the Mughal Empire and then send more to fight the Ottomans. So let's distribute my artillery fire. There we go. The 
these guys are ready. Just dump some militia down here as well. And then we've got some militia and some pikes as reserves. Got our own cavalry, which I'll hold in reserve in out of fear of the camels. General in the centre. Okay, let's pivot. This flank. Okay, let's bring the militia in. bulk of the cavalry's out here so I might actually send some of my cavalry out to engage early on run my pikes up but let's not get too crazy let's run my another unit of grenadiers out here engage the horsemen I've got my headset on back to front At least I thought I did. Send my pikes through to engage their cavalry. You guys stop firing. Both the camels are shattered. Let's pivot our line again. My cavalry should do, we should win there. Okay, now you guys can fire at will. Okay, so we're still still fighting there, so let's get our grenadiers in. One of my cavalry is route is wavering, I can see. Yep. It's going to get charged by camel gunners. Well, that's really my fault for leaving them exposed out for too long. My ground is to form a square in case they get any ideas of charging. I can pull my militia through the square to retreat, although it looks like they're going to So they're not going to charge? No, they are gonna charge, they definitely hit that square formation. Seek warriors are getting very upset. So let's charge my militia into them. Take my pikes and run them straight at the camel gunners.
Let's get my cavalry to... Well, they're going to get hit by the camels, but I want to avoid them. No. Avoid camels. Avoid. We did not like that so much. Take my infantry, send them back up into line. That's what I wanted to happen, my cavalry to run past. I do know there's a bowman unit up there. Sea warriors are going to break soon. Make sure we can, oh no, cannons are already shattered. I even pivot you guys like so in case the bows come out. Huge, you're gonna charge my grenadiers. Just in case the bows decide to charge out. side of the wall are they on? Yeah, they're on the far side, which is the annoying side. See, so your Indian mercenaries. Although they're not going to be able to stand up to the firing of my men. I don't want to move my troops because I might be able to shatter them. There you go. Let's get some of my cavalry over there. Let's move the infantry blocker. You guys can just get out of the way. to shatter as many men as we can. These bows are going to love muskets at close range. She where's my general? Let's keep him busy. Damn right, we'll continue. Shattered, shattered. You keep going at them. You're just broken. Okay, let's speed up time. And let's just hold my artillery fire to make sure nothing silly happens. Shattered. There we go. So I'm no longer... Now I know that that's a thing. If you shatter them on the map, they if you shatter them in the battle, they don't uh, reform. That's a that's a whole new thing for me now. Till obviously, if they're the only things left, then you have to kill them regardless. There you go. So my general that lost, so 
heavily against the, the Mughals. Has now claimed two large wins against their forces. Let's finish them off. So you guys replenish and you guys can just march on Algiers, I suppose. They won't get here in one turn. We are recruiting more men. And we've done all this. We've built an Inverness. Okay, one more turn till grenades. Because I'm going to want to start having them sweet, sweet howitzers firing quicklime. Especially as I've got the Mughal Empire to contend with now. Whatever forces that sit back to defend need to have as much firepower as possible. And if that means a couple of guns that just completely delete entire units, then I'll take that. Never you mind, pirates time is going to come to an end so that's improved grenades their garrison just got a lot bigger I think so that's grenades do we go on to explosive shells probably well we do if I want to do if I want to improve my uh, if I want to get quick climb I do mm, still unhappy or is it also time just to start doing general cheap naval techs. There we go. If we do that, that'll be a strong core of an army. Building up again in Tunis. Some units. I want these guys to uh, stand a bit back to get another turn of replenishment under their belts. No sense of shame. I don't want to infiltrate. Path blocked. Constanto Bassano. Okay, let's end the turn there again. The only thing I've really got to hope the Russians don't do is make peace with the Ottomans. I mean, they've got... Well, they've got Istanbul, they've got Athens. That's a lot of value, wealth. God, is another Mughal army. Navy. Army, navy. One or t'other. other. There you go, there goes my trade from the Barbary States. What? So... <sighs> Should have spotted that coming from a mile off. Um, okay. So I'm pretty sure take one unit. Get in there. Embark him. Take them all, because they're not going to want to fight my third rate. Drop him. Drop him off. Go kill this sucker. What? How did you lose? Third rate against a couple of Zebex. I thought, how did the auto resolve just ruin me like that? Okie dokie, so what else have I got? Just means I have to disband troops. Although, why is my income worse? Meh. Can't do what we gotta do. Sorry, militia. 12 hundo. The guns can go. You can go. My weakest units here can 
go probably militia and you okay let's make this as lean of a force as I can get which means lots of doing stuff like this good positive 320 I suppose I am trading spices and stuff, aren't I? Okay, this has suddenly become very precarious. Uh, minor nations... Why do you want... Okay, why do you want Scotland? Request peace, let's do... do, 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 do. What do you want? The Leeward Islands as well? You want Ireland and Tunis and Scotland for peace. Meh, we're slightly positive. Can't recruit anything though. Because this guy's all the way up here. Because <laughs> he absolutely managed to stack it. So these guys are attacking a lot more conventional force. You guys march back to your homeland. Gah, there's such an irritating little... Irritating little thing to just hold me up. Let's crank up the tax. It's not, it means we're going to slow down growth, but we do need that short-term cash to recruit something in my home port, to boot the Barbary States out, to get the trade going, to kill the Barbary States, where I can dial it back down again. To spur on that growth. God, I was really dumb by leaving that port open. But there we go. Here come the Mughals again. So they, it looks like they are going to keep firing stacks at us. So maybe attacking the Ottomans just isn't going to be on the cards at all. Oh no, they're going to run straight into... Oh, thank God. <laughs> I suppose they can't run straight into tuners, we've got too much stuff. <laughs> Still, at least we can now dump our... Okay, we're up to grand. Like I said, they've been depleted by something. Navy. Get into Valletta. Deposit your infantry unit. Let's just combine three, four, five, two. Actually, I want you all except for these two units to get into the city you guys punish and hunker down out back security has been blockaded have you guys grown up yet still eight one more turn till we get the next government building you don't go for crop rotation and go for mess um, measuring tools don't want to go for naval shore facilities, maybe. I think I do. Military writers. This guy's getting better at military tax. I'm surprised they've not been raided from Tripoli yet. One more turn to military academy. Does get us cuirassiers, which is pretty good. I think I want them to try and attack me. Can also get our repair on to then turn. So I was afraid that the Mughals would then would land in that port and beeline straight for Tunis. Prussians, Austrians at war, although 
To be honest, the Balkans is now gone completely Russian. We are going to Sally. We're not going to sit there and withstand a siege. We're going to push out, split our forces, and then we're going to go both east and west. Could really do without the pirates blockading me. We need to squeeze out as much money as we can. Gonna get seven grand next turn. Damn, I'm just gonna keep keep hold of it then. Might just have not. I might just end up not having access to late game techs, which would suck because classical economics. What is it? Free trade doctrine is gives us the top level port, which I guess we're never gonna get. Governor's building. Can you guys leave? So close. In attesa di ordine. Okay, Tunis. Garrison. You guys. La vittoria sarà nostra. We're going to sally out. But looking at the episode, it looks like we're gonna have to we're gonna look at the timer, sorry. Looks like we're gonna have to end the episode there, so really frustratingly, because of that minor setback with the Barbary States, we're gonna have to uh, see what the next episode brings. So thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed. And I'll see you next time.